Good morning, day 84. I am back solo. It's about 10 of 9. Sarah left this morning at about, oh, I think 6.15. She made an on-the-side arrangement with our shuttle driver yesterday that brought us to the lower end of Harper's Ferry. Um, so it was a cash deal off Uber that she had made arrangements with him. And uh, he didn't show up this morning. So um, last minute, she got another Uber that took 13 minutes to get here. Um, but I just got a text from her and she made it to the airport and is now sitting on the plane. So she'll get home safely. Um, so she's gone. It's just me again, which um, it's, it's, I, I really enjoyed having her here. I absolutely loved it. Um, it really broke up the monotony of the day in and day out life of being on trail, especially when you're a solo hiker. Um, so I absolutely loved having her around. We had a really great time, but I do so much better organize, organizationally when I'm by myself like yesterday I just get so I get overwhelmed I guess and I can't think straight when someone else is around and I'm trying to think about all the things that I need to get done so that I kind of just left all of that part for today so I've got um, her bed now all organized out with my gear and make sure if I see it all laid out then I know all the things that I need to do um my be free bag got a hole, so I was getting sprayed in the face with um, shots of water. It was like a, it's just like a pinhole, um, so I needed to repair that. So I took a little bit of super glue and put it over the hole, and then I put a piece of that clear tenacious tape over that area. So kind of patched it, just like you would do in an air mattress. So I've got that done. I just ate at the free breakfast, which was pretty good. Um, the fruit was lacking. There was only some really, really ripe bananas, which I'm not crazy about. Nothing else, no oranges or apples. So that was a bit of a disappointment, but I feel full and satisfied. And um, I'm gonna start working on the vlogs now. I just finished my whole food situation and got that worked out was able to get a fuel canister yesterday. So all that I have left to do right now is hopefully find a grocery store so I can get some fruit. Um, and I might get some uh, street tacos because I don't have those in my resupply anymore. I didn't want to put those in there this far out. And those things have a endless lifespan, but I just didn't feel good about that. So I'd like to start being able to get those. And then I also want to grab some Gatorade. Um, not sure how far away the grocery store is, but thankfully there are Uber drivers in this area. It just takes a little while to get one. So you kind of have to plan for that. Um, yesterday we waited almost a half an hour to get one. Um, and then getting all my vlogging done. Uh, and then tomorrow I decided I'm going to take a double zero. Um, I just feel like I'm a little pressured to get all of the vlogging done and caught up that I need to. I did not do any while Sarah was here, which I knew was going to happen. And, um, I also want to get back to downtown. It was it's such a cute downtown. I just want to film it a little more for you guys and check out a few more of the shops. Unfortunately, um, when I booked an Airbnb that is closer, which I like, it'll only be a half a mile walk to downtown. They told me after I booked it, of course, that the town shuts down on Mondays and Tuesdays. Um, but very fortunately, there are about four restaurants that are open um, and two are kind of questionable. But as long as I have at least one place to eat and it's a good place, I'm OK. Um, so, yeah, so I'm taking a double zero. Taking a little walk 
uptown to get some lunch and also the Wi-Fi is down at the motel. <laughs> um, this quality in, uh, it's much better quality than the last quality in, but kind of middle of the road compared to Waynesboro. The room is definitely clean, no question about it. There are no bugs, but the Wi-Fi is lacking and it's a little mildewy smelling, but can deal with that as well. Um, I am switching to an Airbnb tomorrow. Um, so today I'm not gonna push getting a lot of the vlogs up. I have a lot of editing I can do that I don't need the internet or the Wi-Fi for, so that's okay. Also, I did want to give an update on my burn. The blister has started to absorb the fluid all on its own without any intervention from me, so it's healing really, really nicely. I think the burn cream that I put on it probably really helped. I don't know, maybe my body just heals really well. <laughs> That's good. So in other healing areas, I um, can't remember yesterday if I mentioned all of the little aches and pains that I had coming into town, I was feeling pretty beat up. Um, definitely healing in all aspects. I'm walking uphill right now, my knee is not hurting at all. Um, my shins started hurting a little bit this morning. My feet are a little sensitive, um, but I'm pretty happy with my progress. And I think with another rest day tomorrow, I should be back to a solid, healthy state. I'm ready to beat on my body a little bit more. Here's a cute little house right here. I'll give you a show there. Um, this, to this town is really old and seems like um, they really prevented a lot of advancement and development. So it's stayed very similar to probably its original state. Um, but anyways, getting back to my body, I think it's coming along nicely. And as much as I, you know, just hate having to take a double zero, I know it's good for me. And I'm still way ahead of schedule, so I'm gonna enjoy it and it's gonna just give me the opportunity to get to see the town a little bit more. So uh, right now I'm hoping I can get into a little uh, bakery slash coffee shop because they always have excellent Wi-Fi and I can get some things uploaded to social media, get my, break my uh, lunch in, and then I'll head back to the privacy of my room where I can focus on doing some editing. So we're gonna go into Snelly Gaster's Cafe and Wine Bar. If they're open, it might not be open. Let's see, oh, they are, good. Let's check it out. Time to head back out and get a little sunshine. Tonight I am going to a restaurant called The Anvil and I pretty much picked this res restaurant because it was the closest one to the motel. But the menu looks pretty good. So I think it's gonna work out fine. It's in a similar part of town where I went to breakfast this morning. And I'm also choosing this restaurant because it's gonna be closed tomorrow. Um, so I kinda wanna try and go to different restaurants. And there were a couple things on the menu that I thought would be healthier options. So we'll see how that goes. I could change my mind. But the day's been 
very relaxing. Probably one of the most relaxing ones I've took, actually. I've taken. Um, I got in a nap. I think that's the first one I've taken. Anything substantial anyways. Um, so lots of rest. And I've been working on the vlogs, but really not going all gung-ho on them. And that's kind of nice. I think I kind of needed a little break from the monotony of that too. But I feel like my interest in doing them is starting to come back now that I've gotten a couple I'm done. getting really antsy though. Um, like I really want to be back on the trail tomorrow. I'm really excited for what's in store. I've got to, I'll be finishing West Virginia in just a mile or so. And then I'll be in Maryland. And I'm really excited to see what's in store for me. Um, the states are gonna start flying by a lot faster now. Pennsylvania will take a little bit, but um, then I'm gonna be getting really close to home. And I think uh, things will speed along a little bit more. Um, and there'll be new challenges. It's inevitable that the bugs are gonna come. I'm shocked that they're not here yet. Um, I've got a really great weather window as of the last time I looked at the weather, which was, I think was yesterday morning, or I mean last night. Um, 10 days with no rain, just a chance of uh, scattered or isolated showers in the afternoon. So that's uh, really nice. I'm walking up a hill, so I'm sorry, I'm huffing and puffing, and I'm also really hot too in this thing. So, um, really nice little neighborhood that I'm walking through here. So quiet. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of, you know, I really wish I was getting back on the trail tomorrow, but I know that I'm doing the right thing. And if I just sit tight, I have a better chance of being able to, um, keep going without any injury. Um, doing the roller coaster in one day really was a big risk and I kind of paid for it a little bit. It was not really the best decision I've made, but it, it was fun doing it the way we did it. It was, you know, a challenge and I love pushing my body and I think if I just give myself a little bit of that, it'll satisfy that part of my insides and then I can get back to the settled approach that I really need to keep in order to get all the way to the end. So it'll all be good. an update on the burn that I got on my wrist yesterday morning. The fluid was starting to come out of the blister area this morning, but it looks like it's actually filled up again. Um, I'm not too worried about it though. I'm not going to stress over it because it does not hurt at all. I'm just going to let it do its thing. And I've still got another whole day before I get back on the trail. So hopefully tomorrow we'll see some real progress. Just thought I'd give you guys an update on how it's looking. <laughs>